everybody. Deep breath, blow it out. Okay, that was kind of sad. Do it again. Everybody, deep breath. And breathe out. Why? Because we can. We woke up this morning. There are many who did not. And so if I have nothing else to be thankful for, I'm thankful for this moment right now to be sharing it with you here at the James C. John, I'm saying John. Woo, John, see, it is 745. John Campbell Funk School here in April. Woo. I get to sing some songs that I just really love. And I've asked some friends of mine, to, to, the new friends, really, to come and join me with one of them. And I'm going to be looking to you to help sing along with me uh, as well. So the first one is just to thinking and seeing your beautiful faces and thinking about all those other folks who would be listening to this morning's song. I'm going to sing it all spiritual. When all God's children get together, what a time, what a time. We're going to sit down at the banks of the river. What a time, what a time. So it's very important that you enjoy yourselves, that you're singing, and to move a little bit. You can clap along.
and speaking life. And as I was sharing, I thought of this poem by James Weldon Johnson. He was an African-American. Um, he wrote the Lift Every Voice and Sing, which we call the, the Negro National Anthem. He was an activist, a politician, as well as a poet. And um, so he wrote this song called The Gift to Sing, this poem. It says, sometime the mist overhangs my path, and blackening clouds about me cling. But oh, I have a magic way to turn the gloom to cheerful day. I softly sing. And if the way grows darker still, shadowed by sorrow's somber wing, with glad defiance in my throat, I pierce the darkness with a note and sing and sing. I brood not over the broken past, nor dread whatever time may bring. No nights are dark, no days are long, while in my heart this swells a song, and I can sing. We're going to sing now, put these two songs together. One is uh, from Yoruba. The works of God can never be defeated. And then I pair that with another one of the spiritual. It goes like this.
to invite my friends, Breeze and Annie, to come on up and join me. And they'll help lead us as we sing the song, I Can See Clearly Now the Rain is Gone. All the obstacles I can see, all the obstacles in my way, gone are the dark clouds that have me blind. It's going to be a bright, y'all say bright? Bright. Bright. Sunshiny day. In this music and in this worldview, when I think of particularly my culture, African American culture, words have power. We believe we can speak life to a situation or speak death. And so in this case, even if you don't see it, we speak that we do. Even if we don't feel that um, positive space, we speak as if it is. And so that's why this song is such a fun song to do. And, and I've just enjoyed getting to know um, Annie in class and Breeze as, as we're sharing and as one of our instructors here. And I say, yeah, let's jam, let's do something. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Thank you.
Choosing joy. Choosing to look forward. We can't control what's coming in, but we can control how we respond, right? Easy to say, but it's so empowering. Choose joy. And so I wanted to sing a song that's one of the favorites of mine. It's a favorite hymn. And I grew up singing this. Um, my dad was a Baptist minister in Washington, D.C. Um, and we were very involved in the city activities, the civil rights movement, and just life. It was sort of the hub of the community. And we sang all kinds of hymns and spirituals, gospel songs, just, just sang it. Um, everything, all kinds of sacred music. And this is one of my favorite hymns. Um, Oh Lord my God, when I am lost of wonder, consider all the words I have. Thank you. 
but we gotta sing one song that simply says, Walking in the Light. The people in my class know this song, so y'all can catch up on it. So you need to stand up since we're getting ready to go, okay? And we're gonna go right, left, right. Thank you.